So, I know that you know most of the details of that match. India got a follow on. Dravid and Lakshman played for two days to save the match, and India won in the end. But do you know the true story of Eden Garden? The true story that happened in the nets, in the mines, and ended in an IV line. So, let's see today the unknown true story of Eden Garden. Border Gravaskar Trophy 2001. India had just been humiliated at one khede by the invincible Aussies. And invincible indeed. They had won 16 tests in a row at this point. India, on the other hand, Kumle, the veteran spinner, wasn't even a part of the squad. The rest of the spinners on the team hadn't even played 10 tests in total. Harbhajan, who was suspended for indiscipline, had been recalled due to Dada's insistence. Famously, Dada declared, I am not leaving this room till I get Harbhajan on my team. But even Bhajji's best record at the time was just 3 for 30. Australia finished the Mumbai test in 3 days. India couldn't score more than 200 in a single inning. Dada was booed off the ground by an angry Mumbai crowd and Bishan Singh Bedi declared this match as the demise of Indian cricket. When the plane carrying the Indian team landed in Kolkata for the second test, things were about to get a lot more worse. Javagal Srinath was deemed unfit to play because of a fractured finger. And Rahul Dravid, the third most experienced player on the team, fell sick with the flu. He was put on bed rest, battling fever and dehydration. Dravid was used to practicing hard before a match, the first time he could touch the bat when he was actually walking out to bat. Lakshman on the other hand, after finishing his daily net practice, just two days before the test, went to the physio and complained of back pain. Physio saw his back and stumped, showed Lakshman his own back in a mirror. Lakshman's spine had tilted to one side. Any extra damage could result in long-term disfigurement. He was to be put on compulsory bed rest. So, two days before the test, no experienced spinner, no ace pacer, two of the main batsmen on compulsory bed rest. This was going to be an unmitigated disaster. Anyways, fast forward a bit, Australia scored 445 runs in the first innings and India had yet again failed to score about 200, getting all out for 171 on the morning of day 3. Australian bowlers actually asked their captain to not give the follow on. This is getting too boring, they said. Let's just sit and relax, they said. But in the simple temptation, that they can end this match that day itself, thereby getting two extra days to relax, they relented. Let's finish this today then. In the Indian dressing room though, on account of Lakshman being the only one to score a 50 in the first innings, Dravid, the senior batsman, was asked to switch places with Lakshman, a junior, from 3rd to 6th. Dravid was obviously dejected. Don't you think I can play too, he thought. But being the gentleman that he is, he made way for his junior. And India, on cue, looked about to lose the plot. Sachin got out and the entire stadium emptied. On day 4 at least, some people returned to see Saurav batting. But by the time Dravid came out, not even pigeons were watching the match. He was welcomed by the Australian players though. First three, then six, then out of the team, they sledged and sledged and sledged till Dravid and Lakshman had played out the entire morning session. By lunch though, Dravid, on severe medication, on a hot and humid Kolkata summer, dehydrated and exhausted, started having cramps. Unbearable pain, 
coursing through his body. Lakshman constantly talking to him to stop him from losing focus. Lakshman later went on to say that I have never talked so much on the pitch till this date as I did in that one session. As another session ended and players returned in tea break having saved the test nobody congratulated them nobody even talked to them the entire team just sat at the exact same place they did during the lunch break pretending that everything is normal pretending that jagmohan dalmia hadn't announced a prize of 1000 rupees for every run they scored pretending that lakshman hadn't just surpassed gavaskar's record pretending that the entire stadium wasn't full of people who had returned to watch something magical in the making pretending that indian players bringing drinks to the field hadn't started sledging the australians in return they just sat pretending that a miracle wasn't happening right before their very eyes on the last session though lakshman's back finally gave out he couldn't move anymore and lakshman who had propped up dravid the entire afternoon was supported by dravid in the evening dravid single handedly faced 80% of all the bowling making sure no matter what a wicket didn't fall Lakshman didn't fall when the day ended and as both the batsmen walked back to the pavilion they quickly fell on a bench immediately needing an iv especially dravid because dehydration had properly set in lakshman and dravid had played the entire day they had saved the test they had saved india's pride Well in the end it could have been just another brilliant partnership I agree what happened next is what made it special I agree without Sachin scalping three of the top order and Harbhajan taking care of the rest it would have been just another match I agree without winning this match and winning the next match and hence winning the series everybody would have forgotten this I agree but what I don't agree to is that anyone who knows anything about cricket not knowing what truly happened on that day how two batsmen in no condition to even play gully cricket played through an entire day against the invincible Aussies how two players battling unbearable pain kept on batting one ball at a time just to make sure that their country doesn't lose how two players propped up the hopes and dreams and aspirations of an entire country and kept on playing one ball at a time and another and another thank you for watching this video if you like this video kindly like share and subscribe thank you for watching